Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the One UI 4.1 port ROM for our Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is the XROM S10e port for our Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Uh, let's move to software info. As you can see, it's One UI 4.1, which is based on Android version 12. Uh, let's move right into it. As you can see, this is the Android 12 Easter egg. Oh. You have to place it on 12. I don't know why my hands are sweaty, but yeah, here you go. You get this uh, Easter egg. Let's go back. We have a lot of things to take. And as you can see, Google Play System update 1 May. And where is the security patch down here? Uh, September 2023. So yeah, this is uh, one of the latest September uh, security patches. If you are going to use uh, or opt for a Samsung One UI ROM for our S7 or S7 Edge. So guys, before moving towards, uh, you know, what's working, what's not working and what are the features and all, like the features will obviously all the One UI based features and what what's uh, working with the S7. But yeah, let's appreciate first the uh, efforts taken by uh, all the developers for our Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. They are still trying to, you know, uh, get some new, newer versions uh, for us. So you have to you know have a like for them uh, not on this video you know there are links down below in the description so you can go to that post where they they post on xt or telegram and you have to appreciate their efforts there and also support in any way you can so yeah that was something i uh, wanted to say so yeah and this goes to everyone it's not only for the s7 this goes to all those people who uh, work day and night you know in the tight schedule uh, you know some are students some are working guys so yeah a big thumbs up to them uh, and yes we should uh, contribute to them in all the ways possible uh, whatever we can we have to do for them so yeah just a thanks is enough for them uh, if you also opt for donation that's great that's an addition so yeah you can do that uh, links in the description for everything the telegram groups and all so go there and appreciate uh, the guy for this amazing ROM. So now let's move towards the uh, part of the video. So guys, this is the home screen and as you can see, uh, this is the app drawer with the very minimum apps. Uh, sorry, I mean minimum apps. And the wallpapers are from S10e as this is an S10e port. So first let's go to wallpapers and style and my wallpapers. And as you can see, these are the wallpapers you get. And you can also download some and the download the wallpapers will be available here. Let's talk about this later. Like we'll go step by step into the app draw. As you can see, we don't have any camera app. So this is the camera app I'm using. This is the one they say it's working. And there are a lot of uh, camera apps like the open camera. It does not work. So yeah, this one I found working. So you can just take casual pictures. Like guys, uh, you know, you won't get everything working in the sport. This is the first version. So uh, you have to appreciate the efforts taken by them to you know port actually android 12 uh, which is the one ui 4.1 for our samsung s7 and yeah uh, sorry for saying this again and again but you know i have to uh, explain which is a very good uh, thing in my opinion but yeah let's move forward into the settings the settings ui and the dark theme looks really nice like as you can see this is the quick settings which i forgot to show you also we have the uh, soft power button which can easily boot into power off a restart and uh, also the light mode everyone knows uh, this looks kind of uh, like it's a no for me so yeah dark mode is always uh, a thumbs up for me so these are the options we get sound and vibrations and as you can see big icons to uh, just put your device into vibrate or mute and uh, yeah color the vibration all the samsung features are there and samsung one year is loaded with features so this is uh, what you get and uh, yeah this is the display stuff accidental touch uh, screen timeout yeah dark mode settings you can schedule it and uh, eye comfort shield i don't know what it does i think it's just like the blue light filter okay uh, this is the uh, display mode type stuff then going into uh, easy mode no there's one okay screen mode and i'm using vivid and also you can control the uh, warmth of the screen uh, white balance which I, I just call it warms for my own purposes so yeah if you want cooler screen you can also uh, like configure the rgb colors 
and yeah a lot of lot of settings like if i keep explaining everything it will be uh, a big ass video uh, sorry for that language and this is the wallpaper and style uh, uh, looks really nice clean we have gallery you can use gallery pictures dynamic lock screen and we also i think in the dynamic lock screen uh sorry i think okay uh, if you want to set a video wallpaper you can set it using gallery uh, i thought it's inside the uh, dynamic lock screen you also have color palette to choose from you know it can uh depend upon the uh i think it depends upon the wallpapers but yeah uh, the default will be applied like that i don't know if it's that with the android 12 just really forgot everything about the older versions now uh been using android 14 now so yeah the galaxy themes home screen and you can configure some home screen stuff uh, launcher stuff lock screen and yes you can configure the lock screen stuff here always on display and it does work fine but uh, you know always on display uh, i think i will avoid using because it might, might cause some freezes so yeah just avoid using or you know uh, if you use always on display and if you just leave it your device will freeze so just prevent it clock style you can change and yeah, these are the clock styles if you have used samsung device before then you might be familiar with all these settings but this is really really nice when you have four advanced features these are the features we do get and yes you can, guys can check all that uh this is the battery and device this is like the uh what, what i said digital well-being kind of thing of the device and yep that is it just some basic features so these are the features and all the stuff the software thing which we are getting with the one ui 4.1 so yeah let's move towards the things which are not working and you have to take care of that too so guys let's talk about the bug list now now the first uh, bug is samsung camera which i have already mentioned two times now this is the camera i'm using and i have uh, like uh, tried a lot of apps but this one worked which was also recommended in the telegram so if you are on telegram you have to go to that channel and group for all the updates for s7 so that, that's you know very reliable for you guys and the second uh, uh, bug is uh, samsung uh, sorry headphones uh, which do not work so i don't know if it it's like wired iphone headphones or something but yeah headphones do not work so yeah you can try that i have never tried bluetooth headphones with this one so i am not sure about that but you guys can check and the third one is uh, smart view smart view does not work so just don't try it guys because there are some issues relating to it so i would recommend not trying it at all which is reliable and uh, one more uh, thing is which i have to explain so let's start with that process which you have to follow after installing the rom okay guys before moving forward i forgot to mention one bug which is face unlock so also please do not set up that now guys the one thing you have to do after rebooting this device uh, after installing this rom is if you have a dual sim device your uh, sim won't show up your imei won't show up and that will give you a big heart attack like thing like it did literally gave me a heart attack like i th i thought i lost my emi and did not have any fs backup so uh, it's not that problem it's because uh, it does not detect the uh, you know single sim device so if you uh, sorry the dual sim device so if you have a dual sim device you have to edit the build prop and for that you have to root first so you know flash magisk and uh, install all do all the magisk requirements which are needed then you have to move into system uh, this is a root folder i'm using solid manager so you have to go to root folder every uh, like your device will have a root folder uh, with any file manager you use uh, it should support root go to system okay and there is build prop open it and you have to add uh, this last uh, ro dot multisim dot sim slot count is equal to one you have to add this line i will paste this line in the description so don't worry so just add this line reboot the device uh, save the build prop and reboot the device and your sim will be detected so you don't have to worry about that like i was really afraid i tried everything and then when i reflash talked the same was working so i thought uh, i should have just flashed uh, you know tried lineage os 
and flash that and i was following a lot of instructions so it was really a headache for me and on that day i thought like, like just yes so i won't be able to use a sim card but yeah like sometimes uh, i need this to use another sim card so it's a really really reliable device and it looks nice because of this glossy thing so yeah that's all uh, for this video now let's move towards the installation procedure procedure uh, if you think i might have forgotten something uh, you can uh, just post it down below in the feedback section uh, it's been 20 days of my last video sorry guys there was exams and then again i had to come back to the routine go to work so yeah all that and today finally i have got this time so yeah now the videos will be regular so yeah for that press like button or dislike button what do you want feedback is important so let's move now towards the installation so guys now let's start with the installation of this rom i am going to guide you all through the process like the installation is all same you have to flash the rom but you have to create a vendor partition for this one so yeah i will show you how i won't be able to repeat the process like the flashing and all but yeah i will give you step by step guide because i have to again revert the vendor then for file the data we uh, wipe the data do everything again and that would be a have for me but yeah all the instructions properly in the description and also in this video so please follow that and yeah that that is like easy so first you have to power on your device volume up power and home button at the same time and will boot into tlrp recovery and you will need a different tlrp recovery which is a modified version for treble so yeah your basic tlrp does not work the official one so the link is in the description for that and that is the uh, tlrp 3.7.0 underscore 9 dash aj which is by anan so you have to install this one or else you won't be able to you know complete the process first of all go to wipe and you have to wipe these things now the vendor partition won't be there for your device uh, on your device because you have not flashed the create vendor partition now go to install and first of all guys before doing any of this back up your data because it is really important also back up your efs because it is really important so yeah you have to go to create vendor flash that oh sorry okay after flashing it will prompt you to reboot the device into recovery reboot into recovery come back again wipe the data and with vendor now you will have a vendor partition you have to wipe everything except internal because that's where your rom is then you can flash the xrom port e uh, stn stn port and then that's it reboot the device that's that's the easiest like that's the only and easiest method i have found so yeah that is it for the video guys if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button also if you have any feedback on this uh, the xrom you can post it down in the comment section if you have any questions queries you can post it down in the comment section if you found any bugs you have to report that with the log on the telegram channel on xda if there is any and you can also ask for help for any installation procedure so uh, sorry guys i could not show you the whole installation procedure with all flashing stuff but yeah this is the procedure and like i have to repeat that then i will have to revert the vendor then again flash uh, and yeah that's a uh, i mean a uh, big for me but you guys can understand that but yeah that's it i hope you guys like the video and that's the second time of me telling you to like but yeah please do like and dislike and post comments down below and also subscribe bye bye